Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra. Now if you've ever wondered what a real civil engineer actually gets up to each day, this is the game for you. I definitely urge you to go and watch the rest of the playlist, but if you just want to carry on from here, basically, we fell in love with Doris. What are you up to uh, this evening, Doris? Got any plans? We went to site to go take photos of a broken bridge. Um, that's definitely a defect. We found out the entire city is broken. Damn, that's pretty cool. There's loads of corruption. All right, look out. Let's watch this then. There's a hidden nuclear bunker. Is this the bunker? I think I found the bunker. And we ended up here last time. We fell down this elevator shaft, uh, which that's going to be a photo. We better reload our camera first, though. Because the idea in this game is you take photos like that of things that are broken in the world. Now, where the hell are we? I don't know, like an old mining pit. There's like mine carts everywhere, some rails. There's these golden mushrooms everywhere. Uh, ooh, ooh, I've just found one of these. This is a fuse. We often put these in various machines throughout the game. So we'll take this with us. I Maybe in this building? Is there like a way in? There is a way in. Oh, and there's a fuse box. Look, here we go. Plop. It's in there. So there's another one to find. And then we can turn the power on to whatever this does. Oh, and we can grab these two packs of batteries. All right, we'll climb over this box and see what's down there. Is that a cave-in? That looks like a cave-in. Yep, that's a photo. You can tell it's a photo because look at the camera. The box, it goes small. Oh god, oh god. We've got, we've got poison sign up here. Oh, and things are vibrating. There's flashing lights and stuff. Oh, look. Oh, that's what it is. It's a torch. So we'll grab the batteries from it. <gasps> and a hard hat. Oh, no. Does that mean there's someone under there? Hopefully not. Let's read this anyway. What does this say? All right, so this was someone saying that they were stuck in here. And there was a statue that's too big to carry. I wonder what that is. And then you can see, like, the text gets a bit mental and spread out. Basically, they started tripping balls on all the shrooms down here. <laughs> Uh, but we'll take a photo of that. All right, so loads of old minecarts and stuff. Oh, is that? That's dynamite. That is dynamite. That's usually a photo in this game, actually. Yep, that is a photo. Okay. I do... Why is there so much dynamite in this game? I don't really understand it. All right, what is... Is that water? Oh, there's another fuse. Okay, there's a fuse there. Yeah, and looking at the sides, I think that is very much underwater. It was like a shaft that went down. So we won't go that way. We'll grab the fuse box. And for this one, I want to try and do a trick shot. So we've got the fuse hole there. We've got an open ceiling. I want to know if, if I stand back here, hang on, where is the fuse? Let's have a look. All right, so if we walk straight back, it's in line with that window pane. All right, so ready, ready. Huh. Do you reckon it went in? No, it didn't go. <laughs> All right, what about from here so we can see it? So ready, let's go up. No, bit more length. That's what she said. Oh no, no, it's stuck on the roof, it's stuck on the roof. Oh, now I'm on the roof. Oh, what the hell, there's a, ooh, ooh, look, there's pulleys and something. Oh, and that down there. I wonder if that's what we're turning on. That generator, so this will come down, perhaps? Anyway, one more attempt at this. Ready, huh. damn it. <laughs> well, it's not really the same, but huh. there you go. <laughs> I uh, haven't really explored yet, but I do just want to turn this on and see what happens. Oh, we got red. Oh, we got we got orange. Come on, yellow. Oh, there's yellow. What's going to happen? It's going to go green. Do we think it's this that it's turned on? Is that fully green now? It's fully green. Oh, there is a wire. Anyway, I think we'll try... Yeah, there's a switch that we can turn there. We'll come back to do that. I'm just going to explore first. So up here, that is another collapse. Another photo. Oh, there's another fuse. Another fuse? Well, I'll leave it in there. Maybe it's for people that did get it stuck on the roof when doing their trick shots. Yeah, I assume that's a collapse. Is that a photo? Yes, it is. It also, if you squint a bit, that looks like the strongest shape. Um, oh, look, something to read. So again, another note saying they didn't find any statues. So they were looking for statues. Not entirely sure what that means. But I think everything is explored. So let's turn that on. Oh, and look, that's come down, which means we can get in it. I assume that seems very safe. Is it on a timer if we... Okay, so we can control up and down. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I think we might have to do... We might actually do some... Oh no, I thought I could take the fuse out and then I could go up and then I could trick shot the other fuse into it. I feel like maybe I should just put the fuse in it just in case or something. <laughs> no, there's a barrel in that. Well, I've dropped the fuse in. Perhaps later on... Ooh, is that a bridge? There's a bridge. Perhaps later on we'll end up up there ourselves. Because I don't know how I'm meant to get in that, if I'm honest. Yeah, the elevator doesn't work. Oh, I think I've just figured it out. Do you remember this was on a timer? So we brought this down. If I just make the arrow go up, then we hit the switch and we got to wait for the lights. 
So that gives us time to get up. I'm pretty sure. Oh god, come on, come on. Yes. So us and the fuse, we're going up. We are going up to the bridge. Whoa, it's got a it's got a train car on it. Whoa, do you think we need the fuse? I'm gonna take it just in case. Ooh, what is through there? I don't know. That is a collapse though. So it's definitely a photo. Um, not really sure what else to do. I don't really want to stand on these. Seems a bit dodgy. Uh, the rail continues over there, but I don't know how to get over that. Can I? Oh, I can turn the train on. We can drive through there, can we? So let's turn her on. Oh god, she's on. Let's hit the switch. Oh no. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I just smacked my face open. Good thing I always wear a hard hat. All right, now it's broken. It can't move anywhere. Right, so can we move this? We can move this. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I've got it trapped in the ceiling. <laughs> oh, dear. Come down. Come down. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, so do I grab this and put it through there? Yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, so now I can crouch under here. Do I want the fuse? I don't know. And then we'll head along this. And now we're over here. Nice. And what a weird sort of mine shaft as well. It's all like covered in wooden boards. It just seems like a really weird shape. Don't know. Let's continue down here anyway. It's another collapse through this door. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's a loading screen. We got a loading screen. That's always a good thing. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? There's light at the end of the tunnel. Ooh. Oh, it's the sky. It's the sky. Yes. Daylight. <laughs> oh. Our bloke just said he thinks the office is on the other side of this bay. So over there somewhere. Oh, and there's... Doris will be there. I'm so excited. All right, for Doris, I, I literally would just swim across there. So, I guess here we go. Oh, that's right. Most engineers can't swim. All right, well, I guess we're stuck over here. Can we get around this? We can get around this. I feel like I was meant to go in here, though. It's just some abandoned building. That door's locked. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? I think they are holes for fuses. Oh, shall I go back? I'm going to go back and get my fuse. All right, here we go. Under here, grab the fuse, and hopefully it will survive through the loading screen with me. Oh, look, we've just got chapter eight. Late for a meeting. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. I went back. Sorry, game. But yes, the fuse survived the loading screen, so we'll go plonk it in. Does it matter which one, do you think? Oh, what? Don't say it doesn't actually work. It's not actually a fuse box. It's not actually a fuse box. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was onto something special. All right, just looking in this building. That's quite a hold. Nothing out there. Nothing down there. Ooh, 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 ooh. what is this? Why is it a cache? So there the collectibles are hidden all throughout. I've only found like three in the entire game or something. I found lots of fuses though. So that makes up for it, right? Right, anyway, we've got to get back to Doris. There's a bridge there, which I assume we can cross. Oh, is that a railway? I think it's a railway bridge. Cool. All right, so we'll go on to this porty thing. Or should I go explore? I might go explore up here first. As a real engineer, I l never like to leave any stone unturned. Uh, it's literally, there's nothing up here. Literally, no. Oh, 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 yes, there is. Look, look. Rebar. So that's another photo. Because as I say, almost every episode we find this, rebar poking out of concrete means that bridge is probably on its way to collapse. Because yeah, if the rebar is exposed like that, it means it will slowly rust and lose strength, and then eventually it will collapse. So yeah, as I say every episode, if you do see that in real life, probably don't stand too close to whatever it is. All right, anything good in here? Doesn't look like it, but I'm in. Oh, there's a box. All right, I've just nicked a box. I assume we might need that for something. So perhaps if we plonk it... Oh, not quite there. Like that. Then we can climb up here onto this platform. Nice. There's the train I want to get on, I think. And then can I grab my box again? Oh, no, I can't. I can't reach it. Let's see if I can get up here anyway. Oh, no, look, there's the rails. We're so close. I can squeeze through here. Here we go. Here we go. And now we're on the plank. And I assume we go under there to that door. So if we go to the end of this... We can drop down. I'll do it via that so I don't break my kneecaps. And then we're on. Right, so in this room, out, door into face. We got a laptop. Well, why would you use a laptop when you can just write your thoughts on paper? This is all bollocks. Yes. <laughs> oh, and look here. Look. Look what they're calling bollocks. There were some complaints about the quality of the concrete, but the results of the survey say otherwise. Even though the concrete is not of the finest quality, it's good enough for the bridge. 
And as we saw, the concrete was already failing, the rebar was exposed. So no, this is bullshit, bollocks, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, we'll take a photo of that. That is good evidence for my report. Oh, there's a key for the gate. Some batteries, some more batteries, some quick drying rainbow paint. And that's about it for in here. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, it's a nice butterfly. Right, I assume this is the gate. Yep, it's now unlocked. So now we can climb over this or up it. Oh, there's another box. All right, so can I use the box to get onto the roof? Yes, but is there anything up here? It doesn't look like it. What the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> oh my God, what is that? That's really strange. I don't know why it's really freaking me out. Oh, there's a red one. There's a red one over there. Oh my God, what is that? I don't like that. All right, let's grab this box and get the hell out of here. All right, so we're back to where we were, where we planted the first box. So now if we climb up here, we can take our box onto this box and then climb up where we couldn't get to before onto the rail tracks. Sorted. We are nearly home. All right, there's a board across the rails here. So I assume this train isn't going to go anywhere. I might just go explore down here. All right, anything along here? Oh, there's some dodgy chemicals. Liquid gypsum. Oh, and we can drop down that way. Well, there's another box I can see over there. Okay, we might do that. Is there a way to get on the train, though? No, it doesn't look like it. An engineer definitely cannot climb on yellow bars like that. So we'll go this way. <laughs> down these steps very, very slowly. Why are we going so slowly? Come on. Oh, I fell down. I'm going to go back up because I want to grab that box, I'm pretty sure. All right, so here we go. We have the box. Now drop down with the box. Head over this way. I probably want to see what's going on. I was up there. I wonder, could I... Am I meant to jump onto this? Well, no, probably just put the box there. Yep. If we put it there, we can get up easily. So we just use it like a staircase. And we carry on along here. Can we unlock this gate? Yes, we can. Warning. Noisy area. We've got to use the proper air protection. Sod it, I'm an engineer. I play by my own rules. Ow, bloody doors. Oh, it's like a metal workshop. We've got a drill... Got a milling machine. Oh, we've got a key card. Bridge gate. Cool. Oh, there's a switch. There's a switch. Oh, what does it say? That shitty generator turns off if we're using too many things at once. Turn off the workshop power if using the elevator, right? I want to use the elevator, pretty sure. So we'll turn this workshop off. Okay, and we can turn the generator on and off. I assume if I didn't read that, maybe I wouldn't know. So I'd come back and turn it on, maybe. Do I turn the this back on? Now I'm done with that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but let's go over to the elevator. Is that this? So I think that's it there. So if we do down... Here you go. It's coming down. It is coming down. Oh god, look at those wires moving. That doesn't seem safe. Yeah, we have another box. Right, anyway, we're going to head back with the box. I'm not really sure what I need it for, if I'm honest. Is it to get up there? Yes. Okay, we're up here. So we're the other side of the tracks than we were previously. So I guess we just keep going down here. Oh, and here's the card for the train gate. Oh, what are the odds of that? Battery dead. I wired this to the workshop lights. Make sure the generator is on. And now it works. Oh, that, that saved me a trip. All I was trying to do was just, like, be polite. Just close gates behind me and stuff. Leave things as you left them, as they say. Right, and then down here, it looks like a passenger train. Oh, we're so close to the office. There's cars. I can phone my boss and get picked up. Surely. Oh, oh. I think that's a power cut potentially caused by me blowing up a power plant and by the way the commenters of last video they sort of reminded me matt you turned on the boiler for the generator and remember there was a world war ii unexploded bomb in the coal yeah so that might have been why it exploded perhaps who knows yeah, i just want to check down here there is a gate but it's locked okay always worth checking always worth checking all right some random batteries Right, so we're in a bit of a marina, it looks like. Am I going to sail a boat? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm going to sail a boat? We can head this way, is this? It's locked. It's locked, don't worry. We're not sailing. Oh, okay, maybe down there? Oh, I can go. Can I go through here? I can. I can go this side of the fence. Aha! Here we go. Can we... Oh, God. <laughs> can we get under here? We can actually get under. Oh, there could be secrets under here, boys. There's a little pipe outlet. That should have a head wall. There shouldn't just be a pipe like that. It should be like a concrete surround and stuff. Is that a photo? No, it isn't. Oh, look, and you can see how bridges work, if you've ever wondered. Obviously, massive steel beams like this, they're going to have a bit of 
movement. Particularly like when it's hot, when it's cold. Thermal expansion, they like to call it. Now that there is a bearing. So it's basically like a roller. So as this metal beam like expands and shrinks, you know, it won't like smash up all the concrete and stuff. It'll just slowly do it along along that little roller. It's only going to be like by a few millimeters, but if you think if it was all concrete, there's no like flexibility in the design, it uh, would cause issues. There you go, you learned something, maybe. And then we're here. Oh, look at this mess. That is a photo if ever I've seen one. So I think this is meant to be a new bridge. <laughs> you bear, you're everywhere. Drinking his beer. Oh, some batteries there. All right, that looks like it for secrety things. We can go along this maintenance thing. So we'll go have a look. We'll see if there's anything up here. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is definitely an Easter egg. You shall not pass. No! barrel in the way oh look and there's a <laughs> there's another teddy he's got a fat water cash oh my god and he's smoking a cigar and got some whiskey nice is that a photo oh man i wish it was a photo all right well that was fun oh oh look there's a cash there's a cash on the way back official geo stash an official game piece not litter so we'll grab that what the frig is that oh it's just a spray can and grass clipping. <laughs> I thought that was like a weird, I don't know what I thought it was. All right, anyway, I guess we'll head back. But that is why I love this game. There's Easter eggs literally everywhere, no matter what level you play. If you go exploring, you usually will find something. All right, anyway, let's go through this car park. It looks like I could climb up those boxes if I really wanted to break in to a random building. Do I want to do that? <laughs> I could just phone my boss and get him to pick me up, surely. Best is there's a warning sign saying no trespassing. Uh, but I can't find anywhere else to go. So that's what we're going to do. So up onto these and then huh, there you go. And we are in. Right, pretty creepy in here. Thankfully, I've got the editor to put some happy music. So we're not going to get too scared. There is a teddy hiding up there, though. Uh, we'll go down these stairs. Honestly, this could be a horror game. Oh, God. Oh no, what's going to be in the toilet? What's going to be in the toilet? It's nothing, don't worry. It's empty. Probably first toilet in the game that's been empty. Usually they literally have poo in them. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Right, now we're in a sort of big old room. We can go up there. So we'll go up those, these stairs through that door. Don't think we missed anything in that room. Oh, look at this. Oh, <gasps> turn my torch off. How do I turn my torch off? There's a person. It's a person. That's the first person we've seen in this game since we are at the office. Is he like homeless or is he just like chilling out here? I, I'm worried he might be like a druggie or something. I'm just like walking over his head. He hasn't seen, he hasn't noticed me somehow. I'm not really sure how I get down. I I could climb onto this and jump onto that. This guy's going to think I'm the one on drugs though if I do that. <laughs> Got it. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh shit. What's he doing? He wasn't impressed. He's walked off. To be fair, yeah, I'd probably get out of there. That was a little bit weird, Matt. A little bit weird. Why would, <laughs> why would I do that? Is that a photo? Oh, look at this. Look. So this is called a flap valve. Although according to the devs, they called it a generic metallic hatch. No, it's actually a flap valve. And if you've ever wondered how drainage into the sea works, which I'm sure you all have. Uh, basically, imagine upstream of this, there's pipes and then they go to like gullies and I don't know, like a huge drainage network. So basically when it rains, it lands on the floor, goes into the gully, goes into the pipes, and then eventually the water using gravity will fall down into the sea. So there would be a hole, like the one we saw under the bridge where it didn't have the concrete surround that I was saying about. Um, but what if your, your outlet, which is where this pipe comes out at, what if that is at a location where the tide could come up? So if it didn't have a flap on it, the seawater would come up and it would fill your drainage network and then it could potentially flood whatever's up there or at least when it rained, it would mean your drainage wouldn't work. Whereas that is called a flap valve. So when there's when it rains and this is like empty of water, can you see like this hinges up the top? So that would like flap up and it would allow the water to like come out of it, discharge into the sea. And then when the tide comes, like the weight of the sea keeps it shut so you can't flood whatever's upstream. Man, there's actual real-life engineering going on in this episode. What has happened to me? Where's the poo? Where's the fart jokes? Where's this dude gone? Oh, a bit of heat though. Right, here we go. Let's read this. What does this say? 
Now, that's just a bit of information on the Stolberg Underground, some gang that offers people homes if they don't have one, like homeless people, I guess. Um, but apparently, everyone that's joined has never been seen again. Uh, and there's some sort of myth that they've built like an underground city or something. Well, I've spent like the last 10 years underground or something in this game. Uh, didn't find any cities, but we'll go out here. This is where the bloke went. I wonder what direction he went though. Oh, look at this. Look, this oil tanker. Is that leaking? Is that leaking oil? Is that a photo? That is a photo. Uh, nothing else up there. So we'll head back in this direction. Is that the Stolberg Underground logo thing? NLW? Don't know. Maybe. Oh, there's a door here. That opened. Smashed window. We can't get in that door. Oh, I see green. I see green. We can climb up. This is like the darkest level ever. But look at this. Oh, it's so green. What is it? I don't even know what it is. But we can go across here. Then I guess we can drop down. Oh look, there's a key there for a gate. We'll grab that. We've unlocked the door that was smashed so we can get back if we need to. There's some rude videos there. I think that's about it for in here. So we'll head back. And then can we go through there? Is that the gate, do you think? Yes, this is the gate. Oh, we're back underground. We're back underground. Oh, there's another one of those though. What are they? Oh man, I'm some. someone's proper been doing some engineering with pallets here. <laughs> <laughs> and oh no there's a ted that's been trapped by rocks is that a cave-in is that a photo no apparently not he's just been placed there maybe all right we'll head this way though more mushrooms what a surprise left or right i don't think right is actually an option so we'll go left and oh this does look kind of neat what is this it's all blue water it's really dark i literally can't even see like where i'm going here we go here we go all right we're down here now oh what is this there's a lifeboat well, not a boat, a ring. A life ring, Matt. <laughs> oh, and there's steps carved into these rocks. Where does this go? Oh, next chapter. All right, someone's storage area, it looks like. There's like barbecues, bikes, ladders, a load of paint. Uh, we can unbolt this, though. Let's see where we are. Oh, cobbled streets. Oh, we're actually on Keep Alley. We finally got some signs. All right, it's a little bit weird to be walking around. Oh, Volvo. Oh, no, Novo. Definitely not a ripoff of any other car manufacturers. Yeah, but right, guys, I think we're going to end there. We're in some little pooky village. Now, I feel like I feel like we're close to Doris. I can smell her scent already. Not in a weird way, in a, in a good way. But yes, we'll leave it there. Peace, love, and keep Ali. Is that a thing? Bye, guys.